is the first class of Siemens. First class of Siemens. You heard the name of Siemens? No, sir. No? No. You don't know. Siemens is made in Germany. Siemens is made in Germany. Okay. And Siemens is one of the oldest pills. And it's originally made in Germany, but they have factory in different countries. Like they have factory in China, they have factory in India, they have factory in Italy, and in different areas they have the factory. So Siemens and the branded company, they have both original products and the duplicate products, and the copy products. So a item coming from China, made in China, from the original Siemens factory, that is good. You understand? But if someone makes the similar copy or replica or duplicate, their copy is not good copy. So made in China is not bad, but you have to ensure that the item is coming from the original factory of China. You understand? Like you use iPhone. iPhone produced in many areas. Like in China, they have also produced the iPhone. And they are also producing the original iPhones. But the factory is in China. But there is also duplicate copy of iPhone. That is not good. Okay. So according to our use, according to our use and according to our capacity of our industry, Siemens divided uh, their PLC into different categories. So few categories are Number one category is mini. Number one category is mini. And the second one is micro. And the third one is modular. Mini, micro, and modular. <coughs> Mini is the most smallest category they produce. They produce this item for the small machines to control the small logics. And micro PLC they are producing for the uh, more bigger and more bigger cap capacity compared to mini PLC. And the modular is the biggest one. That means you can control a whole power plant, a full power plant, with the help of modular type PLC. But with the help of mini PLC, micro PLC, you cannot continue or you cannot control the full power plant. You understand? <coughs> okay. Now I am uh, giving the model of different type of PLC. Mini PLC is logo PLC. Mini PLC is logo PLC. And the micro PLC is S7200 PLC. These are the model. All you can say these are the series. Logo PLC series, S7200 PLC series. But inside this PLC, there are many kinds of PLC, many uh, many type of PLC. Like S7200, there may be 20 or 30 type of CPU. In the same way, logo PLC, there there are around 10 to 15 type of CPU. Okay. And the third one is modular. Okay, modular type PLC we can divide into two categories. One category is, uh, this is just a few years ago category, maybe uh, 2000, uh, before 2000, uh, these two PLC is used, number one is 7300 and the number two is 7400. So after that they invented another two, uh, two uh, PLC that is the 71200 and the 7500. <coughs> okay, so logo PLC is the most the smallest PLC that, that you can use in a small machine. S7200 uh, is more bigger than logo PLC. You can use uh, 
medium type of machine you can use the 700 PLC and for the bigger type of uh, machine you can use a 7300, 400, a 7200 and 1500 and the most biggest one is the a 7400 PLC this is the most biggest PLC and from this category this is the most biggest category a 7500 with the help of S7-1500, we can control a full SCADA system or full power plant or big unit, big plant to get control. S7-300 also, it's also bigger. But this S7-1200 PLC is almost equal to S7-200 PLC. Their power is almost similar. S7-200 and S7-1200. And S7 and the price for the pricing, S7200 and S7200 is almost near, near pricing. You understand? So these are the PLCs, and there is no any other PLC without this. If you heard the name of Siemens PLC, or if someone said that Siemens PLC, the PLC must be within this model. There is no any other model without this. You understand? Okay, <coughs> so if we uh, want to program with any or handle with any PLC, we need two items. What are the two items? This is PLC, yesterday we have said we need programming software, right? Programming software and programming. Okay. These are the two important elements that we need if we want to program a PLC. Without this, we cannot program a PLC. Okay. So now, these PLCs have different, different software. The most problem with the Siemens is they need many, many software. Because the Siemens has the more biggest IT industry. So they have more IT developers, so they have the more software. I'm discussing different type of software and the cable. <laughs> so first I'm, I'm telling about the software, programming software. So logo PLC software name is Logo Soft Comfort. Logo Soft Comfort. So you have already received the DVD? Yes. So the person who have received the DVD, the software is inside that, that uh, DVD. You can install the software and use in your laptop. And every day we will give you assignment. You have to complete the assignment in your home. So with the help of this software, you can complete the assignment. Okay? Next one is S7200. The software name of S7200 is Micro Win. Software of Logo PLC is Logosoft Comfort and the S7200 PLC software name is Micro Win. Yes, <coughs> <coughs> uh, these uh, two software contains one programming uh, software. The software name is Cmatic manager schematic manager this software can handle both s7300 and s7400 pills schematic manager <laughs> And the uh, S7, 1200 and 1500, the software name is PIA Portal. PIA, PIA means, what is the meaning of PIA? Thanks in advance, right? <laughs> in Facebook there is a term, PIA. That means thanks in advance. But in automation, the TI is total integrated automation. Total integrated automation.
टोटल इंटीग्रेटेड ऑटोमेशन सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टीआई पोर्टल एंड दिस अदर सॉफ्टवेयर ओके टीआई पोर्टल देयर आर लॉट ऑफ ऑप्शंस टीआई पोर्टल फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद 11 देन इट रिलीज 12 देन इट स्लिप 13 14 50 50 अंटिल 2019 दिस वर्शन ऑफ टीआई पोर्टल v15 दिस इज अ वर्शन v15 so 2019 November uh, December they released the 16 version V16. Now the V16 is running. This is the software version. So difference between this software and that software is TI portal combine all the software. This is the combination of different types of software. TA means total integrated automation. That means it integrates the different type of software. Like, for example, if we work with the semantic manager, semantic manager only can handle the PLC programming. It cannot handle the uh, HMI programming or the drive programming. We have different different software for this. Semantic manager is the name of the software for PLC programming for semantic manager for, for PLC. And if we say what is the name of the software for HMI? For the Siemens is a essential format. HMI is software name is WinCC. And the for Drive, the software name is Drive ES. This type of many many software is used for the Siemens manager or this version until this version. But <coughs> while they release the TI portal, they combine all this software. TI portal consisting of software around. 24 GB big, big volume software inside the software they have the PLC software they have the uh, HMI software they have the drive software all the software they are selling now with the package so they give the name TI portal and another benefit, benefit is that uh, before uh, the TI portal and uh, this software like I am just programming the software for the PLC and first I have not decided to use the HMI. After five years or after one year, I have decided that I need HMI. Yesterday we have discussed about the HMI, right? Okay. So after six months, I have decided that I need to use the HMI. So if we start to using the HMI, then you have you have again changed the PLC program. But for the TA portal programming, they are already ready for the HMI program. You need not to be do anything if you want to start with the HMI. They are built in such a way that it can help handle any other program. You understand? Yeah. What is the difference? <coughs> so these are the software for PLC programming. So second thing, what do you know? What do you need? Cable. Cable, yeah. Programming? Cable. Okay. So uh, for the logo PLC, there are two cables. They have two versions. One is 0VA0 to 0VA7. Or you can say 6. Zero. This is the CPU version. This is the PLC series and this is the uh, CPU version. Like 0 v 0 0 v 1 0 v 2 0 v 4 This is just kind of release. Like iPhone 4, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone X, like this. This is a simple version. So 0 v 0 to 0 v 6 They have a special type of cable. The cable name is Logo Cable. You see that PLC? There is one PLC hanging. That is 0 v 4 version. That was our first uh, training PLC that was around maybe six seven years ago PLC that we use for the first time when you start the training. So they have released two PLC. These are the latest PLC 0 B7 and 0 B8. These are the two latest PLC. So this is the latest piece most. They released 0 B7 in maybe 2015 or 16. 
60, no, not, not 60, 70, 80, uh, and the 19, they have reduced the 0B8. These are most latest. Okay, <coughs> 0B7 and 0B8, they are programming cable is Ethernet. So what is the benefit? Logo cable, you have to buy. The price is around 3000, 4000, 5000 BUD for the table only. But Ethernet is free. It's free? Sure. Yeah. The Ethernet cable free? Almost free compared to this. Because Ethernet cable per feet, how much? Per meter? You use in your home? Yes. Ethernet cable? For yes. connecting the computer to the broadband line, right? Yes. How much price? In Bangladesh, per meter? 15 taka. 15 taka and it's cat 5. If it gets 6, then 20 to 25 taka. So this is very cheaper, but this low cable price around 4 to 5 thousand bit. So compared to this, I can say this is free. Right? But in this world, nothing is free. So then, micro wind. Programming cable of micro wind is uh, not micro wind, 7200. Programming cable for 7200 is PPI cable. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. PPI cable. Mm -hmm. PPI means. Uh, this is the table for S7, 200 days. <laughs> and in the market, there are a lot of 200 days. Yeah, yeah. PPI means point to point interface. Point to point interface. PPI means point to point interface. This cable price around 6000 BD. Only cable. 6000, 7000 sometimes. Okay. And the next one is 7300 and 400. For the 7300 400, the programming cable name is MPI cable. MPI cable. MPI means multi point interface. S7 300 and 400. Is that it? No, no, this is PPI, this is MPI. Different. Ah, yeah, yeah. This both is the same. 300 and 400, this, these two are similar to PLC. Both are. MPI cable. MPI means multi point interface. This cable price around 10,000 to 50,000. So you see, if you if you want to be automation engineer. Or if you want in automation industry, then you have to, uh, you, you must have this item, this programming cable and the programming software. And they have, they did a good works for the S7259. Again, these are free. So what is the free cable? Ethernet. Ethernet, yeah. From 1200 to 1500, the, all the new release, they are trying to make it Ethernet. As yesterday, uh, not yesterday, in the last class I have said you that uh, the world is converting into Ethernet, right? World is converting into Ethernet. Because everywhere you will get the Ethernet. In our uh, trading center, we have all the Ethernet line, yeah? You see that Ethernet line is coming there, there is a switch, there is Ethernet, everywhere Ethernet is there. 
This is the wired Ethernet, but you will get the Wi-Fi everywhere also. So, if I am the Ethernet, then I can connect easily. But if I am the different, then it will be tough for me to connect. Like uh, the, the people who have the Android phone, USB, normal USB. If you have the mobile, you can charge anywhere. But you have the USB Type C. You know Type C cable? Yes. Type C cable is like this, round. And the normal USB may be USB A or B. This cable is this. This is most most popular. If you have this one, you can get cable anywhere. But you have cable like Nokia thin pin. This cable, <laughs> then you will not find this cable anywhere. You have to carry the charger every time. This is the same. If you become the Ethernet, then it is easier to connect. So for this reason, all our uh, uh, mobile phone now su support the Wi-Fi. And the previous ancient period, maybe 5 years, 8 years, 10 years ago, there is only Bluetooth. Now Bluetooth vanished. Because worldwide common network is Wi-Fi. So if I have the Wi-Fi, I can connect anywhere. You understand? Okay. So these are the Siemens dictionary. If you heard the name of any PLC, like the 7200, 7300, 300, 400, 200, Robo PLC. If you heard the name of any PLC, first you have to see this page. That what I need. If I say that I have a 7200 PLC, please talk about it. What do you need? Microwave software and that. If I say that I have a PLC of 7200, you have to talk about it. What do you need? Is that a cable screen? That you don't have to pay attention about that, but you have to connect the cable. So, I am saving the CPU version, right? CPU version is... What is CPU version? 0, 3, 0, up to... 0, B, A, A, C. Okay? These are the CPU version. Okay, now programming. Normally, CPU, CPU version. V, E, R, S, I, O, N. Version. Version, yeah. Okay, so PLC program programming, there are many types of PLC programming available in the world. So number one is ladder. This is the programming language actually. These are the programming languages. Number one is ladder. And the number two is STL. Number three is FBD. There are also some other languages also, but these are uh, most popular and among them, the letter is the most popular. So what is the letter? So you know, single line the diagram, SLD? Yeah, yes. The letter is almost similar to single line diagram. Actually, the practically how we connect our wire, how we connect our uh, relay and magnetic conductor, the same way is used in the letter. So that is the very easy. And the STL is the uh, program that you have used in C programming. You have already used in C programming, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Inside the C programming, you have used like if, else, okay. while, this type of looping and different kinds. This type of program is used inside the STL. STL means statement list. Statement list. These are called the plain text programming. Plain text programming. And FBD, FBD means function block diagram. <coughs> you know logic gate? Yes, yes. yes. Electronics? Digital electronics, yeah? yeah, yeah. So we're starting about the logic gate. Or gate, or gate, or gate, or gate. These gates are used with the FBD. So, this ladder is actually the practical connection of elliptical and STL is used as C programming style, plain text and the FBD is used as logic gate style. 
So uh, in funny sense you can say that FBD is the program of electronics engineer. Yeah. And the HTL is the program of sales engineer. And the ladder is the program of electrical engineer. This is just for fun, not serious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, first the program, uh, first program of the PLC was STL, a statement list. Because you know, uh, when the Microsoft invented the DOS computer, you know, you, have, uh, you know about the DOS computer, right? DOS, DOS computer. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, first it started with the DOS. Then 98, 2000, then it started with the XP, Windows XP. Windows XP, then uh, we got Windows 7. Vista. Now, before uh, 7, there is another version of Vista, but Vista flop because it violated all the program of Windows XP. It missed all the new versions, so people didn't like it. After Vista, we got the Windows 7. After Windows 7, we got the Windows 10. Now, it was 8. 8 10.1, then we got the 10. Now the Windows 10 is running. And the, you know, Windows 7 may be uh, stopped within this month or next month. They have decided, uh, Microsoft, that it will maybe January or February, they will stop the support for the Windows 7. Okay, however, that is not a core part. But when they invent DOS, so at the time of DOS, there is a big problem with the graphical interface. You know, graphical interface GUI. You have the name of GUI? Yes. What is this? Yes. Graphical user interface. Ah, graphical user interface, yeah. That is the big problem while they invented the DOS computer. You know, DOS computers uh, hold the computer with the black. Yes. They are using mostly the keyboard, not the mouse. Okay? That time, to draw a single line or to draw a picture was very difficult. Because that time, Computer was only invented for the calculation. They invent the computer for the calculation only. The uh, present calculator is the ancient period computer. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That was a big problem that side. They invent them and they say this is the computer. Okay, so that time the uh, graphical development was not too too much uh, easy. So that time is still on the first programming. Because uh, that time it was not easy to draw a line. After DOS, when they start Windows 98, 2000, then it is very easier to draw a line or draw a picture or draw something. Then the letter was popular. And now the letter is popular and all over the world people are using the letter. But if someone uh, program with the STL, then you can also have the option to convert it into a letter. Like you got a program with STL, every software there is an option to convert the program. You can convert the program with the letter. So no problem with this language. If you only know the letter, you can handle it in all the languages. Understand? Okay. <laughs> okay. So in letter, there are a few symbols that we commonly use. We will know today. We will know a few symbols, and every day we will uh, know different different symbol. Okay, there is few symbols in ladder. Number one is make contact. Okay, make contact. The symbol is like this. This is similar like the symbol of capacitor, right? Contact. Uh, no, this is the symbol of make contact. Make contact, that is the symbol of, uh, I am I'm just uh, uh, giving the symbol of, uh, physical symbol like this. This is a push switch. And this is the NO switch, NO. Normally, open, open switch. Like this, right? Push switch. Okay, no problem. So this is the push switch. If you push the switch, what will happen? It will connect, right? 
If you push this, this way, connect. Normally, open. Normal open. Endo switch is normally open. So, main contact, the symbol is like this, and this is called the endo switch. Normally open switch, and thus, physical symbol is like this. Understand? Okay. And the brake contact. Break contact is break contact. The name of switch is NC switch. NC means normally close. Okay. And if we draw the physical symbol, it will be like this. This is the spring, yeah. Okay, what will happen if I push there? This is normally closed, right? If I push, it will open. You understand? Okay. And the third one is a relay coil. Relay coil. So the symbol of relay coil is like this. This is the symbol of relay coil. Actually, this is the output. From there, I will connect different types of output. Okay. So if I draw this. It is similar like relay. This is NC or this is NO. Okay. So these are the inputs and this is the outputs. Okay, for the programming, there is a line like this, <coughs> and with, with this line, we can program. And <coughs> I'm just writing a simple program. I can write. Yeah. Okay. So for the local PLC, for the local PLC input address is I one, I two, I three, and the output is Q one. Q2, Q3, okay. So this line is called the power line, a uh, power rail. This is called the power rail. Power rail is the all kind of bus bar. You heard the name of bus bar? Yes. yes. If you go to industry, in the whole industry, there is a bus bus. Single bus. You can bus. just, yeah, you can just uh, take a line and use I the power. Know. Yeah. And this is also power rail, one kind of bus bar. The bus bar have all of the power. You can use the power to any program. Okay. This is the make contact, right? And this is the relay point. Okay, so I am just giving the address of I1 and as this is output, I am giving the address of Q1. So what will happen? If I press the I1, then Q1 will on. If I press the I1, what will happen? If I, if I1 is closed, then power will go to low. That means if I press the I1 switch, then uh, output will on. Load will on. 
Understand? Okay. If I make it like this, I do. What will happen? We have to push two switch. This switch and this switch together. Then only this switch will. Uh, this on. output will on. Okay. Now I am uh, showing this to practically. And today, we, uh, first I will give the connection, <coughs> and after my connection, uh, you will give the connection with the groups. Maybe uh, how many people you have? Three, three, six, fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Three groups. Three groups. Three groups. Yeah. Five. 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 Okay. And the person who will miss today, next class they will give the connection. So you must. Everyone uh, uh, must give the connection. <coughs> Okay, so I am drawing the logo field. This is the logo field. Okay, so here is the L, L M, L M, I one, I two, I three, like this. Okay, and here is the Q one, two ports, Q two, two terminals, Q three, like this. Okay, Q four, okay. So this is the PLC. <coughs> so correction is very easy. L and M. When there is a L and M, so this L is the light, and M is common. M is common, and the L is light. So if there is a L M, then the, the power, uh, power supply must be 24 volt and zero. If you see somewhere M, then you must uh, think that this is the DC power. We have to apply the DC power. But if there is N, L N, then what will, what will be the meaning? Line and neutral. Because in DC there is no neutral. Sometimes it may be line neutral. Sometimes it may be L one L two. This is also AC. And sometimes it may be phase neutral. This all are AC. But L M DC plus minus DC. Uh, this all this type of DC and also in the PLC body there is a uh, the, the power input power is written and you must <coughs> conscious about this power and if you give the wrong power this PLC will burn okay uh, if you give the wrong power like uh, this is this is made for DC power DC to 24 volt if you give the AC power the power supply inside this will burn okay. So you must be careful giving the power. <coughs> okay, so I am just giving power here. Plus minus. As this is DC. You understand? Okay. Now I have to give the power for the switch. I1, I2, I3, I4. This switch. Okay. <coughs> so I am taking another wire. I am taking another common wire and then I am connecting this to a switch. This is a switch and then I1. Again, this is a switch, then I1. Again, this is a switch, then I3. So I am taking a power from positive line, then I am using a switch, 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 then I1, I2, I3. Clear? Okay. okay. <coughs> Okay, this is the <coughs> this is the output. Output. I am drawing a simple connection. This is a node. This is switch, and this is source. Source. This is a very simple simple uh, circuit. Uh, source, switch, and the node. This source may be AC or DC, right? <coughs> This is the most simple circuit. Okay, this is the switch. So PLC will work as a switching device. So instead of switch, we just convert the switch and connect the switch into PLC. Okay. So people uh, sometimes think that PLC will give power. PLC will not give the power. What will it give? PLC will just do the switching. 
when the when uh, the q1 is worn inside the software what will happen this top two coat will short inside the plc and if this two coat is short then what will happen this power will come to the fluid clear yes, <coughs> everyone clear right okay <coughs> and i am connecting the second load what i can do i can uh, short the minus right this negative i can short with the previous one and for this positive one i can make this like this okay what is the connection i am giving the positive power here and the here so now i am giving perform here so what will happen if i turn on the q1 this will get power if i turn on the q2 this will get power power clear same way i can give the q3 okay <coughs> so who don't understand the uh, connection everyone clear yes. who is clear no one yes can you ask clear you are one is living <laughs> you don't understand this connection yes sir everyone Yes, sir. I don't think everyone. Okay, I'm just making a clear one second. So we have few uh, cables that make our connection easy. There is one pair cable. Uh, one is red and one is black. Okay, so I am taking the power from the DC power, negative and positive. Okay, then connect. L. L and M. Yes. Everyone is clear, right? Yes. <coughs> okay. The next connection is I will take a power from from positive and then connect to switch, right? Yes. This one. Okay. <coughs> This is I have a uh, common cable that means one input and three output. They are shorted inside the constant. It's constant. Okay. I am taking power from the positive. Okay. Then what should be connect? Switch, switch, switch. There is switch between them. These are the switches, right? Yes. These are the switch push switch. Okay. Push switch. So other parts of terminal I will connect where? I one, I two, I three. <coughs> I one, then I two, I three, and I three, I two and I three. Okay, everyone is clear. Just I am uh, connecting the positive power to the switch, and then I am connecting. I am connected switch to I one, I two, and I three. Okay. Now what you have to do? <coughs> we need a negative cable. We will just make a, a take a negative cable and give power to the negative side of the load. Okay. Also, we have selected a negative common cable. And these are the loads. And these are the fan. These are the light. And we have also magnetic conductor, uh, relay, timer, everything here. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. So this L1, L2. L1 is the light. L is light. F is fan. Load. Okay, load. Yeah. And the, this is positive and this is negative. Right. So I am making the negative short first. I am just taking power from any negative. I am giving sure. L1, sure. L2, and L3. Okay. So we have completed this connection. Negative to negative, negative, negative. So now for the positive, what we have to do? <coughs> we have to take a connection from positive and. From positive and Q1, Q2, Q2. Okay. Three. Three. Yeah. Three. I'm just taking from here. Positive and Q1, Q1, Q2, and Q3. Then from Q1, where we should connect? We are we could We will connect to Q2. L1, 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 Yeah. From Q1, Q1 to L1, from Q2 to 
L2 and from Q3 to L3. Our connection is okay. okay. If you try to understand now, you will not understand. <laughs> because why you give the connection, you have to understand that time. After connection, there is more <laughs> complex. Yeah. If someone see now, oh, what's happening there? <laughs> Okay. Now we uh, program the PLC and we will download and we will test the program is working or not. Okay. So you can write the steps. First, file new, new and letter. You see the programming language? Yes. There is FBD and there is also a, a, a other program like U D F. So file new letter. Okay. Okay. When you say okay, then I record. Okay. And this is the place where I have to write the program. And uh, this is the power rail, right? This is the power rail. rail. Okay, I'm just making a make contact. Make contact and I can give the address from here. I1, I2, I3. I2. Any address I can put, okay? Just I'm giving the address of I1. And I'm just taking a relay coil. I'm taking a relay coil. Then what I have to do? Next step, okay. <coughs> so if you just uh, like, uh, put here, it will just connect, connect, okay. So I1 is connected with the uh, Q1. Now I will dial download the program. Tools, okay. For downloading, we have to follow the steps. Tools, transfer, PC to logo. That means download. <coughs> <coughs> okay, you are ready down. <coughs> then tools transfer PC to logo. Okay. Then <coughs> you see the uh, IP address is there. If you don't have the IP address, you can search. If you search here, you will see you will see the IP address. You got the IP address, right? Okay, then, okay. <coughs> and it says the PLC is in a stop mode. While you download the program, PLC goes to stop mode. Because you know the machine is running. It seems the machine is running. And uh, it stops while you download. After download, it gets permission to start. Because the machine is uh, running and we give the new program. So. PLC need permission from us that we have we can we can make a program that may damage the machine. So PLC is asking permission to me. If I give the permission, then it will run. Then if any any problem happen, then it's not the problem of PLC. Understand? I'm just making it yes. Okay. <coughs> so there is two function. One is offline simulation and online simulation. This is the offline simulation. This is the online test. So you will practice with the offline simulation and I will show the online test. Online test will show what is happening real in the uh, PLC. I am just click on the online test and okay. Okay. Now you see the power rail is red color and the red color is reaching this point, right? Yes. And these are blue. That means power is not reaching there. So what we have to do? We have to push the I1 switch. Okay, you can push the I1 switch, that first green switch. Yeah. That switch and that switch is similar. Yes. 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 Okay. And you, you look at the board. While you press it, you just look at the board. Okay. Press again. Yeah. Total line is red. While, while he pushes, total line is red. High. High. Okay. You understand? Okay. And uh, after, uh, once we know the relay, how relay is connected and the relay connector connected, 
So I is high, I1 is high, then Q1 is high. Okay. So I am connecting other two switches. I am just connecting here I2. And here I am connecting I3. So what will happen? So with this program, what will happen? If I only press I1 and I2 both at the same time, Q1 will on. on. Now I am connecting another one. What will happen? <coughs> I have to uh, press the switch whether I1, I2 or I3 and I2. This switch must be on. Okay? This switch must be on. And uh, other than whether this switch or this switch. I2 must be on. If I press I1, I2, it will on. If I press I3, I2, it will also on. Okay? Okay, so now, now I am making the online test. Okay, sorry, I didn't download it. So I have to download it. So you uh, press the green one and the red one. You the red one together. Okay. So now you see the I1 is red and the I2 is red, but I3 is blue. That means I3 is not pressing. Now uh, you uh, keep the red one and the yellow one. Yeah. The green one is not necessary. Okay. Yeah. Now I1 is green, I2 and I3 is red. Okay. Yeah. So what is the problem? Because <coughs> you see there is one problem. What is the problem? That person need to push and keep it hold. Yes. That is a big problem, right? Yeah. We will not keep a person to push the push and keep the hold all, all the day. Yes. <coughs> so what you have to make? Yes. We have to convert the program into latching. Yes. Latching is such a program that yes. convert the push switch to press switch. There is two different of switch, right? Yes. These are the push switch. In industry, all the switch is using the push switch. They don't use the press switch. Push switch just pushing and it's just back. And the press switch is that switch. Uh, that switch. Just if I make the on, it will permanently on for the lifetime. Yeah. And if I make off, it is off. But industry, all the switch is using the push switch. Push switch. Okay. Okay, now I will make the latching. Latching. That is called the latching. Okay? If I give the output address to the input address, this will convert into latching. I am just giving you Q1 here. Okay? I am just giving, this is input address, right? This is input and this is the output. And I am giving input address to output address. If I give Q1 here, what will happen? This switch will depend on this switch. Now what will happen? I am just pressing I1, right? When I press the I1, what will happen? I1 press, I1 is short. Short or high, same thing. If I1 short, Q1 will high or on, right? If Q1 on, what will happen? This Q1 also high or short. I <laughs> <laughs> I three years. I'm not a kid. 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 I'm not a kid.